My name is Bill, I live on a hill, people call me Phil, but my name is Bill, I like G- Oh, I'm recording. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I always do this when I'm recording, man. It, like, I always do this. Hey friends, it's Isaac Hayes, bringing you a gameplay commentary on, I think this is Aquarium Free For All. Yeah, I think it's Aquarium. I'm gonna be talking about a very debatable matter. Yeah, I'm talking about confidence versus ego. Now many players, especially on the competitive side, have egos. We all know those guys that say, Oh, I'm the best in the world, I'm better than Jesus and Bill Nye, the science guy put together. So first of all, confidence is feeling like people can rely on you. It's good and almost crucial for a good player to have confidence. If you don't have confidence, you're most likely going to keep playing with people you're better than. It boosts your ego, sure, to always do better than your team. But still, you don't have enough confidence to play with people that you, that are better than you. So you'll be in a cycle and you're not going to get better as a player. A confident player would say that they're valuable. A player with an ego would say that they're invaluable. Nobody wants an ego on their team. You know what it's like having somebody with confidence and a huge ego on your team? Well, if you don't, I'll tell you right now, it smells like shrimp. And then what? Shrimp gets eaten by my dad. Goodbye team. <laughs> what am I saying? When you have a team full of good, confident players, it smells like butter. Why did I say that? Well, now many of you are gonna be saying, Isaac, why would I want a team that smells like butter? Let me ask you, is this so is this such a bad thing? I'm getting off topic. So when your team has good and confident players. There's going to be a teamwork level that changes everything. You'll know when you feel that teamwork click. Nobody's going to be sitting there calling out, This kid just got buttered on, I'm the best! Or, There's a warrior back bar and these kids suck, I will poop on all of them. Like, all those callouts are just going to be gone, and all the callouts are going to be straightforward with no extra things. That alone is a big flaw with most teams. I filled in for teams that needed a fourth for like a tournament that they're already signed up for, or just like UMGs, GBs, or just anything competitive. And there's some good teams that I'm like, wow, these teams are good, or this team is good, because like they know what they're doing. They're calling out straightforward. They're not saying extra things. Like they're right to the point. And then those teams that don't. They call out random stuff because they get mad after dying or something. Those are the teams that I don't really want to play with again because they're not going anywhere. This gameplay looks like it's about to end, so thanks for watching, friends. And leave a comment saying your opinion on this subject. Maybe we can have like a debate in the comment section or something. That'd be pretty cool. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. This kid just killed me because I wanted final kill with my raps. Um, some people say favorite in their outros, but I'm not going to say favorite because my, my videos aren't that good. Here comes my rap flying from cloud 727. This kid just takes it. He turns around and takes it. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. There's my awesome person in the winner circle. I always top. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.